y'all go low, we go lower type of feeling. Iron Man's getting old. <laughs> towards the end, towards the end, it got kind of dark. Barbenheimer. Barbie and Oppenheimer. This is what I liked and this is what I disliked. These are the two timestamps for either movie. Watch both or watch one. It's up to you. So let's start with Oppenheimer. By the way, it has spoilers, but I mean, it's been a couple weeks. So if you haven't watched it by now, you're probably not going to watch it at this point. Oppenheimer was a great, great, great movie. The cinematography was great. Uh, it feels real because for the most part, it is real, according to Christopher Nolan. I think he used little to no CGI for the entire film, uh, which is crazy. I'd love to know how they did some of the shots. The music was top tier, my dude, my guy. Like It made you feel like after that movie, you were about to go and change the world, dude. You are about to go and cure cancer. Like it, felt like it felt like you were about to make the atom bomb yourself. Like, oh my gosh, like, like you understood like quantum physics and like quantum machines and whatever they were talking about. Like it made you feel smart. Good job to, I'm gonna butcher his name, but I think his name is like Ludwig Gorenson, Gorenson, Gorenson. The acting was great from everyone, but um, I'll focus on the main two actors, which is Killian Murphy and Robert Downey Jr. Um, it was cool to see Robert Downey Jr. as a, a villain, a portrayed villain, as at least that's what it felt like in the movie, because he's always like the arrogant superhero or hero of the film. You know what I mean? And he was like second and he was also a villain. And I know it's makeup, but you definitely feel like, oh, dang, like, Robert Downey Jr. is getting old. Like, I know they made him older than he is. I know, I know, I know. But like, you saw him and it's like, whoa, Iron Man's getting old. <laughs> Killian Murphy was amazing as well. Whenever, uh, in like the beginning of the movie when he's like a, like a student and he's like feeling anxious and like crying, you really felt like, man, this dude is a super genius and like, he's got things in his brain like he can't like understand or like, I don't even know, but very very good job and if you watch videos of how oppenheimer really spoke and you compare it to how killian murphy uh killian murphy killian murphy spoke they're very very close it's just a little detail like he could have used any voice and none of us would really know unless we went and researched it kind of like how i did okay so there's this <laughs> okay so there's this one thing that I didn't like and I'm just gonna say it cuz I'm trying to be as honest with you guys as I can be it's such a little teeny tiny thing okay but just listen when they were doing the Trinity test did it not feel like they were like right there like right there close to the test of the bomb specifically Killian Murphy's like little group it felt like they were just down the street from the atomic bomb and then like the general and the other troops are like way far away it's just like didn't this bomb kill like a hundred thousand people but you're like right there like you're like down the street from the bomb if he could see it like with his own eyes yeah i feel like you're a little too close but that's just me i don't make movies so it's just my opinion but it's just a very very little thing okay barbie i liked it way way more than i thought i would uh, I thought I was just going to go into the movie and just be like, oh, gosh, like, uh, what is this dude? Like, what, what, what am I watching? But I actually enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. If you haven't watched it and you're watching this video still, the first, I want to say 10, 15 minutes, I'll just say 10 minutes. It's just like, it sounds kind of mean, but nonsense, but that's not how the whole movie is. So yeah, like, don't just leave the theater. Margot Robbie was great as Barbie. Um, she legit looks like a Barbie, like the blonde hair, the blue eyes, like everything. She looks like stereotypical Barbie. Ryan Gosling was really great too. He was really good as Ken. Like with what the character is, I don't know too much about Barbie and Ken. I don't know anything about Barbie and Ken, honestly. He did really good. He was actually kind of funny. And then whenever he's like the Mojo Dojo Casa house and he's like sublime. I was like, like, what? The Barbie doll houses, uh, the props, the outfits, they were actually like really good. And I think they were really good because they weren't CGI, kind of like Oppenheimer. And I know they're doll houses, they're like doll outfits, but you've got to respect the craftsmanship. I think whenever they're going from Barbie land to like the real world, I think they made all those props like in real life, which is crazy to think about because there's like a lot of little details and there's like moving parts whenever I think they were going through the ocean. Another kind of 
cool and interesting thing was the way Barbie Land affected Earth. That was a twist that I didn't know that they would take. A little bit confusing, and I think it knows that it was confusing because there was a point where uh, Barbie, uh, Margot Robbie, Barbie is like, how did I get in? in this car like how do we get in this car how do we get in this clothes or something like that and it was like yeah oh okay like it knows that it's, it's that it's confusing like it knows like it's a little bit of nonsense that we got just here you know okay so what made me not like the movie as much as i would have is towards the end towards the end it got kind of dark for being such a joyful movie like with the dancing and the like ryan gosling like the way that they resolved the movie was pretty dark it's just like for a split second i was like yo is it really gonna talk about like men's struggles like is it gonna talk about how like we're like men and women are different but equal type thing but then like this one character uh goes on like this whole like three minute rant of like women have it harder type thing and it's like it was a little bit annoying for me personally okay don't cancel me don't call me misogynistic but then they go on and they just like manipulate the men like that's just like their whole thing and then barbie tells that same character oh no does he like me or does he not like me should we do this or not and then the the chick is like he stole your house it was it was very much a very like y'all go low we go lower type of feeling it just felt dark but i liked it more than i thought it would and it made a billion dollars so clearly people liked it they're gonna make a second one like i'm calling it right now they're gonna make a second one you don't just make a billion dollar movie and then just call it quits okay just look at the top five movies the only one that doesn't have a sequel is titanic and you can't really make a sequel to titanic like what they just sink another boat or something is there another boat that sank like that's like tragic and has this whole love story behind it anyways i'm going on a rant this has been my reviews on barbie and oppenheimer barbenheimer Thank you for listening to my unraveled mind. I am brain plosion. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I'm going to see you when I see you. And I don't know what else to say. So bye.